these five boxes which don't look anything special any delivery boxes these have actually just arrived from Germany from Audi Sport in Germany and this is the Evo 2 upgrade kit for the Audi R8 LMS GT3 the current car came out in 2019 so three years later they've got an upgrade and this is a big upgrade although these boxes don't look an awful lot they are packed with a huge upgrade for this car which should keep it fighting at the front should keep it relevant for winning in gt3 into 2022 2023 and beyond really basically the biggest part of this upgrade kit is the aircon this car is getting air conditioning and it's a huge upgrade they've got to strip the whole car down completely air conditioning run right through the car the pipes going underneath into the back in the front they've got a new condenser dropped in underneath the radiator it's a really really big upgrade to put that in and again behind the dashboard you've got the aircon unit all that means the car's got to be stripped down completely the cockpit's out the front's out the engine's out everything's got to be stripped down to a shell virtually to put this air air conditioning kit in that's the biggest upgrade of the lot but there's a lot going on there's a big new rear wing in the bottom box it's massive compared to the old wing i'll show you them side by side in a bit because it'll knock your socks off how big and how monstrous this new wing is then there's like some like little details there's like a new rain light on the back there's a new steering wheel which it looks like something lewis hamilton would be using the cockpit has also got more switches and buttons on the center console there's just like a lot of stuff going on a lot of wiring a lot of details the springs for the front splitter so when you get to curbs it's not going to smash it off neat details like that Audi have gone through the car and they're really upgrading it really making it something more powerful and more special so what I'm going to do today really is this they've got six kits here and there's four cars having the kits coming on so this kit is kind of the last one they're waiting to put on what I'm going to do is take a look at the kit and then I'm going to get Jules the chief engineer for the team I'm just going to get him to go through it on the car what they've done because like I say there's a lot going on there's also suspension I forgot that they've upgraded to two-way suspension as well so all around this is a big upgrade for be quick racing a big big upgrade for audi this has gone around the world so all the audi gt3s racing around the world they've got this kit on this year that should make them be able to take the fight to their rivals like lamborghini and ferrari and porsche these kind of brands they should be in the hunt with this it's a cracking kit it's something important so i want to take a close look at it and just to give you an idea I've got just the quick guide here the introduction to it and it's just loads of pages there are diagrams and things everywhere in here what they've got to do to put this on it's a big job they're getting on with it I'm going to try not to get underfoot but I'm going to try and catch Jules when he's not busy ask him to tell us what it's all about Okay, this is our update kit board. So everything on this here, all the update kit are here on this board. So it's quite a big job from the aircon, lot of hole to drill, lot of insert to put, lot of piping to run properly at the correct place. So we have to follow all this page. They have much more than that, but that is the basic one. Also have for the engine, for the light, for the rear wings, for everything on the car, everything is explained properly here on this board. Okay, so before the car don't have any aircon system so this is the major update this year the aircon system of the car so basically we have to strip all the complete car from the front to the cockpit to the back of the car we have to remove the engine to fit all the line under the chassis 
all the compressor on the engine, all the, the cockpit area, and all the front area with the condenser here, running all the pipe through the engine and through the chassis. That is the aircon box inside the cockpit. Basically, you have the two intake here from the air coming from outside the chassis. It goes to the cooler and after we can recycle the air, so we can close all this vent here and recycle the chassis here, the cockpit air, sorry. Everything is controlled by the central console. There are few options, so we can put it full power, low power, or even make it work only on the braking system, so we don't use the engine power and we not lost too much power. This year we got the new steering wheel, new steering, new hub, a lot of more function on the steering wheel. So I will explain to you later when we unpack the box. Here at the central console we got the bottom one, also new, much more function on that. Basically the two bottom one are aircon system, the two middle one are the multi-system so we can modify with the potty every sensor put it on, put it off. The top one are the pedal box adjustment and the spare button. On the diffuser, we also have this new blade to fix on. So this is one is the whole spec, that one also. So two of them. We need to fit this one on. It's much smaller, as you see. This creates less drags and less downforce. On the splitter, we have some modification to make. So we need to make it more heavily. So we need to drill some hole and put some silicone. All this area, all around, it will be 20 kilo more heavy than last year. Okay, also on the front, we have this damper system for the splitter. So basically, now we can go on the curve, left or right. We have one on the left, one on the right. It's, it's access the splitter to moving up and down. So we not damage the splitter, we don't damage the chassis, we don't damage any frame. And we can drive through the curve. This year we got the new update on the air intake of the car. Basically we have this spacer for five cylinder and the five on the other side. It makes the airbox a little bit higher, the pipe a little bit longer for much more torque. Before this car have only the rain light, it was the old brake light of the normal road car. But this year the FIA decide they need the homologate rain light. So we have to add this small LED red light. So basically it's from FIA point. It's nothing with the performance wise on the car. This is the new rear wing of 2022. It's much more big than the old one. It's different shape, with different gunnet also. It creates the same downforce, but with less angle, so less drag. Also the mounting point, before was at the front, now it's at the back, so less drag also. So the old dumper was only two way. One bump, one rebump adjustment, and this new damper a four-way damper. So, two bump, high speed, low speed, two rebump, low speed, high speed. So on my right, I kind of nod, I can't really point too well because these two wings are carbon fiber and I hate to imagine what they cost and I'd hate to imagine if I dropped them, the damage it caused. But anyway, this wing on my right, 
is the wing off the first generation Evo, the Evo 1, let's call it that, to differentiate them. I thought this was a pretty meaty, pretty big wing, but this one on my left here, this is the new wing that's come as part of the Evo 2 upgrade, and it just knocks this wing out of the park basically this is huge it's longer it's wider it's got a really big angled gurney flap on it the mounting brackets and struts they're all kind of crazy angles as well so rear wing wise we've got a bigger more monstrous wing with different mounting points and now i'm going to try and put these down really carefully so i don't break anything The two signal, left and right, dashboard page, plus or minus, depending which page you want. ABS, the middle one. This one is the traction light, is uh, how the traction starting. This is how long you stay on. So we have two different adjustments from the starting point, if you want very early or very late, and how long is work? The wiper, the flashing light, the marking. This is when you make mistake on the circuit, then you want to remember to see on the data where is it exactly. So it's mark it, so go on the data directly. The speed limit, so it's for the pit lane. For starting the car, here we go on that side, the drink system. This is the reset, reset button, when you got any alert on the dashboard. This is the radio system, when you want to talk on the radio. This is the kill switch button, this when you want to kill the engine. It's when you come to the pit lane, you don't need to press the central console. You select this button, it will flash on the dash, and soon you stop the car, the engine will be off. Here, one, two, three button. This is special button. It's another option from the driving. So basically, when you're pressing this button, it will I'll show some page on the dashboard and you can adjust the pit lane timer, the pit lane speed limiter, the full course yellow, all this kind of driving uh, option for driver. Not not from uh, not basically from the engine things or whatever, it's from the driving things. And you can change mapping for saving fuel, mapping for full course yellow, all this kind of saving system. Yeah, just and on the opposite side, of course, you have the two paddle for, for the shifting system, so up and down, and the two clutch button, the two clutch paddles.